Y'all, I'm at Walmart. As you can see, you guys, the shelf is empty. The bread. I'm here to buy some bread, you guys. And it is empty all the way down, y'all. I don't want to walk all the way down. I'm tired. But yeah, it's empty. No bread. I'm probably looking for bread, too. It ain't none. No bread. People showed up about 45 minutes ago. They weren't going to start serving sandbags again today until 8 a.m. But some people said I brought my shovel, and so I'm going to start serving myself. That lady's loading some sandbags into her vehicle right now. Here's the sandbag pile. You can understand why people would be taking it upon themselves. Some folks waited in line for eight hours yesterday. You just, you just, my husband did, yeah. your husband waited yesterday. You just got here. So that's what people are doing, not only here, but up and down the state at various sandbag locations. And we've seen lines not only for sand, but for food, water, and fuel. I've never seen anything like this, never. As the intensifying Hurricane Dorian prepares to make landfall in Florida, people here are racing to get ready. Better safe than sorry. There are long lines extending outside grocery stores. <laughs> Shelves once filled with bread and water are now empty. <laughs> Some stores have been telling people they can only have four cases of water per family. I want to fill up my tank so that when it's time to go, I'll go. There are lines at gas stations that stretch all the way down the interstate in Davie, Florida, near Miami. We can't tell you exactly where this thing's going to go right now. It's been kind of um, here and there. But even with so much uncertainty... <laughs> I think I'm going to get 10 bags, but I'll take what I can get. Some people here in Brevard County, near Orlando, spent nearly eight hours in line waiting for sandbags. <laughs> Y'all became buddies in we line? Did. We did. It's crazy. We had no choice. Jamie Pinnell is worried that water will flood her home by coming in the back door. So she waited in a very long line with her seven-month-old daughter, Mackenzie. How long have you been in line? Six hours. So. But it's like victory now, so it was worth it. 